ladies and gents, welcome back. Uh, episode 24, and we are going for another boss. This is going to be one of the first of the slightly longer episodes. We're going for Raziel the Shepherd, as he will give us the Athenium, uh, start to unlock some higher level uh, recipes, and a Silver Resistance Potion, which I haven't really used to date, and the Corrupted Artifact, which again, doesn't really sit with the way that I play my builds, but... Um, there we go. I'm going to try and continue to run with the build that I've got here. Mirror Strike, Ward of the Damned, Sanguine Coil, and then the Veil of Chaos for the double dash. Uh, and I'm going to try and melee him. Um, so I'm going to try and get up close and personal, and I'm going to use the Slashes. Uh, I did consider using the Merciless Iron Spear as well, because that will give me a uh, pull him to me. But uh, I like the mobility that the Slashes provide so uh, i'm going to use that so let's go find him i believe he's in the bastion of dunley uh so i was slightly wrong it's not the bastion of dunley that i need to get to it it was the um the dunley monastery so it means i need these holy resistance potions and what i'm actually going to do is try and stick in human form and sneak past so i can go straight to the boss fight um should be okay. We've taken the Holy Resist Potion. I haven't got the higher level Holy Resist Potions, unfortunately. But um, this will get me... I think I can go straight into the boss fight. I've been to this place before. and He's in the main monastery building here, I think. Other side of that wall. Ooh, ooh. Easy now. Now this is going to use uh, a lot of blood. Um, but... I have some from my poor little prisoner. So that's that bit done. I could ignore these guys as well, I believe. And, um, okay. I still need to take my potions. I will show you the will of light. Pulled ads. Let's get rid of the ads first. I can focus on him. Oh, I gotta take these out. Ooh, he hits hard. They stunned me in the spot. That's not fun. Thank <laughs> you. 
You take a health pot. Uh, just get a bit of a heal going here. Okay, I'm not healing up, really. Why am I not healing up? This is easy. <laughs> that again oh I'm out of blood that's why let's try let's try the brute's blood there we go yeah right back at you buddy there we go uh, that's the Athenium unlocked, so I can now destroy the study and put, put the Athenium back in place. Let's see if we get any loot. An unsullied heart and some glass. Okay. Uh, a tainted heart. I don't want to use those anymore. And some glass bottles. I do use those. Okay, let's go back and do some building. Okay, well, rather annoyingly, the Athenium um, needs to use an awful lot of scourge stones. And... Um, I'm going to destroy this, because I can. I might get some resources back from it. And then we put the Athenium in place. Uh, it's going to use an awful lot of Scourge Stones that I had saved, but such is life. And let's see now, because we can do some research on here. So we've got books that we can unlock, and we've got some research that we can unlock. Let's see what we can get. So we have the Distinguished Carpet Collection. No castle would be without it. We have the Blood Moon Gloves, now we're talking. And we have the Blood Moon Boots, now we're talking. And we have the Sanguine Reaper. I like it. What else have we got? Let's, let's see. Um, that and that and that will do. So we've got one more, I think, to unlock. Uh, the Witch Potion it increases spell power by eight. What is our current? potion do four okay that's good we wanted to go for a spell power build and and the blood moon gloves i assume we can make it the tailoring bench so i may need to think about upgrading but we have some we have we can unlock one schematic it's always something useless in terms of the gameplay usually cosmetic blood moon gloves imperial thread silk and primal blood essence Primal Blood Essence is where I'm going to come unstuck because I can't make that at the moment. I have Imperial Thread. I'm making Silk. Let's just check the Primal Blood Essence. I think I need to unlock that recipe. Yeah, I do. I do. Uh, oh, I can make it with Exquisite Hearts. Ah, oh, they're harder to get. So I need to unlock this recipe. So let's see, where do we get that recipe from? And we have the Duke of Balaton. All right, I know where he is. What does that give me? Turn into a toad, able to jump high into the air. Interesting. Jade the vampire. Ah, right. Prim primal blood essence. So Jade is the one that we want. I think I can take her. Bump into her a few times. I don't really... Major explosives. Um, not use those much, really. Um, I might have a go at the Duke of Balaton. Maybe to get it done. No, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna track, uh, track and take on Jade first. So let's do that. Oh, I found her randomly. Uh, just rode past her, and I uh, haven't taken any pots yet. But she's not gonna give up. So. Oh, she's. Slippery. One shot, one shot. Yeah, so that actually heals. Um, oh, she silenced me. Ooh, interesting. I'm not liking this silence at all. One 
shot once. I'm going to try this ult on her. Oh, she's stealthed. Sneaky. Well, I can... Oh, I thought I could use the ult three times, but... Okay, that was hiding behind a tree there. What was that all about? Okay, so I was hiding behind a rock face that time, but such is life. One shot, one shot. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Annoy her around the rock face. Silenced again. She's definitely not somebody you want to do a spell power build on if she's going to do that many silences. One shot, one shot. She's pretty mobile as well. So we can't go through a rock face fair enough. Ah, <laughs> I like that. One shot, one dance for me. Ah, I timed that wrong. One shot, one shot. That is brilliant. I love that. Yeah. One shot. One. Yeah, we've got the ult up again, so... Yeah, I'll do it three times this time. <laughs> she dodged all of them. Put my shield up there, but never mind. One shot, one. Dance for me. Yeah, here we go. Pretty straightforward. So that's now given us the primal essence. So we can go back to base. Thank you very much. And we will... Oh, I know. Cool. We're going to go back to base and we're going to start the primal essence production. Thankfully, I have lots of greater essence. So just so we know, uh, we've got this chaos barrage from Jay. Killing Jade. Sorry, hit the mic. But with the greater... Uh, the primal blood essence is what we really want. And I'm sure at some point we'll need this major explosive box as well. So, I need to go back and do the Duke of Balaton, but what does this give me? Uh, spectral Dust, uh, the Phantom's Veil, that would be quite nice. It's got Holy Resistance. Uh, Duke of Balaton, I feel like I should do that. Um, he's in the swamp, so let's do him first, because I could do with going there and farming. But let's just start the process of the Primal Blood Essences, if it's not started already. It has started! Excrement. Okay, so we'll leave those running. And let's go kill Duke of Balaton. Well, ladies and gents, we're at the Duke. This is my third attempt. I've tweaked my setup. Um, it's just not working, so uh, it's a pretty tough fight. Uh, I've upgraded to the Dark Silver Mace. I also have the Dark Silver Reaper, which I may swap to. If I need to, and I've also now got the Blood Moon Gloves and the Blood Moon Boots, but obviously I lose the set bonus um, So from the Dawnthorn. So I'm going to try. Uh, this fight is proven to be quite tough. Uh, so he keeps doing this. This is a guaranteed hit for him. So, um, 
I'm hoping that this will... It's it's not this part of the fight that's the problem. It's when he summons the adds. He's got some adds that he summons, which is... um Troublesome. And he keeps doing that. Which is just... It's just a guaranteed hit for him. Because you get stunned when you land. And uh, that, when I started fighting him, was a double hit. It's now a, uh, sorry, it was a single hit. Now it's a double, so. Um, oh, for goodness sake. This is a guarantee. This is guaranteed damage for him. I can't move. But I've got an ult, which hopefully will cater for the, the second phase of the fight. Um, is when he spawns a load of ads, so I'm hoping I have an ult which will deal with that. And as you can see, he covers nearly the entire floor. Right, this is where I need to use my ult, so let's get lined up. This will heal me as well. Mm, didn't really do a good job of healing me though, did it? And that is, again, his guaranteed hit. The Chaos Burn is very good for this because you keep range and just keep doing this. Take care of that one. Ah, oh, swallowed me again. Goodness sake. What's happening now? Let me out. Oh, it's just a super duper double. I'm just going to take a pot quickly, see if that helps. Yeah, get a bit of health back. <laughs> oh, none of my abilities are working. It's guaranteed hit time again. So, third attempt, we got it. It's a tough fight, that one. You need to think about um, what abilities you, you use. I uh, What seemed to make it easy then was the Chaos Burn. Um, because it's ticking damage away on him while I'm running around trying to hide. Um, and that's only really unlocked for us the... Uh, some silly frog form thing. I don't know if it's a... Let's see, where is it? It's probably a vampire power. Yeah. Um, what don't I use that often? I use all of them. I don't use that one. Let's see what it does. Don't mind me, fellas. Yeah, it's just silly. Okay, next dude we have to kill is this Foul Rock Soul Taker. Um, it looks like I've started the fight. I wasn't actually planning on using this weapon. Ooh, that is 94%. Yeah, I don't want to waste it. What I have now. Hmm, okay. So, <laughs> I might as well take it to the place where I'm supposed to fight in. Kill these, are we? Oh, 
Yeah, they don't do any damage. Might as well take a pot while he's dicking about. Back up to full health. Ooh, ow. Miss me. Not again. Come on, mate. Just take the shame. To say that's probably the eat one of the easiest fights of the end game that was too easy in fact but uh, it makes a nice change because normally I'm struggling uh, there we go uh, let's see what we can loot from around the tune and then we'll head back and see what we've unlocked and do more crafting and blah 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 back 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 at the castle what did we get then? Fowler up the Soul Taker. He gave us Mist Trance. Block melee and projectile attacks for up to one and a half seconds. Turn non material and teleport to the cursor location when an attack is blocked. Resets the cooldown of your secondary weapon attack. Just as that's primary, that's secondary, I assume. Hmm. That's not bad. I can see a number of instances where we can use that. Uh, I can now summon Banshees as well. Though I haven't actually put a gravestone down. I haven't needed to. You have to put them outdoors. Um, maybe I should do that. Start farming here somewhere. We've got a bunch of resources. I'm not getting many of these schematics. So I think what I need to do is um, farm some schematics. Uh, we've got that to unlock as well. What will that give us? Carpets, I think. Oh, divans. Excellent. Just what I want. That'll help me kill a boss. Nat. Oh, I put the anvil in as well. I did that while I was uh, offline. Not recording. Okay, so I've got the dark silver reaper and the dark silver mace. And the dark silver slashes. So I have made those. So they should be there. That should be in there. Uh, right, I didn't realise I had the Dark Silver Slashes. I'm so stupid. Uh, and I thought I could make the... Um, I can make the Dark Silver Sword. I don't use the sword that much. I don't use the axes that much either. In fact, I don't use the spear. I only really use the slashes and the mace and the crossbow. Um, da -da -da. So, let's see who the next boss is. Oh, let's see what we've got to do for him. Let's trigger look. <laughs> Give my horse impression that was pretty, pretty poor. Who's next? Gear level too low. Shit, really? Guess I got some gearing up to do. Right, I'm definitely going to have to farm. I am going to have to do some serious farming. Because I can't really... Let me just see if I equip that. Let's see if that changes anything. Ah, yeah, there we go. Okay, it's just because I had the fishing rod equipped. So, Wilfred the Werewolf Chief. He's the next guy. Uh, we don't have that many bosses left now. Uh, that says recommended level 64. What am I pushing now? 69? If I drop that in, 72. So 
this is better in my opinion because this gives me a 15% ability cooldown which that just gives me increased spell power so I find myself spamming buttons. The 15% makes us quite a bit of difference when you're actually fighting a boss. Especially when you need to use this Veil of Chaos in 9 seconds as opposed to 7 point something seconds. Um, 7.6 seconds it goes down to with the 15% reduction. Thereabouts. So I now have the Dawnthorn Chest Guard, the Dawn Thorn Pants. I don't have the recipes for these for the Blood Moon, which is what I need to get. And uh, I have, I think, unlocked... Yeah, I've unlocked the Phantom's Veil. So if I can grab some, grab, grab some Spectral Dust, which I think I've got some here. No? Here? Yeah. Spectral Dust. Just enough as well. And we can make that cloak, I think, Phantom's Veil. And that will give us another bit of an uplift. I'll make me some more pristine leather. Um, right, there we go. Dark silver crossbow. I want that. I want it in my life, so we're going to make it. No, we're not. That's not enough, is it? I need more silver. Right, okay, I'm going to leave it there for this episode. It looks like I need to go and do another silver um, gathering exercise. Um, so I will say thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I've been Wasmatic and will continue to be Wasmatic for as long as necessary. Or as Mrs. Was lets me. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. <laughs>